Hi everyone, I'm Rick from DxO Mark. We tested the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G. The 5G version comes with identical camera hardware as its non-5G sibling. But let's see if the 5G version software is fine-tuned to make a difference. Here are some of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G's highlights. It has a four camera setup, including a sensor for 3D depth measurements in bokeh mode. The primary wide-angle camera features a 40 megapixel sensor with a fast 1.7 aperture lens opening. The telecamera uses a 3x lens, and there's also an ultra-wide camera with an effective 18.9 mm equivalent lens. The phone also provides 4K video, although its default settings are 2160p 30 frames per second instead of 60 frames per second. Overall image quality and camera performance are very similar to the standard Mate 30 Pro. But the 5G version has made improvements in some areas such as zoom, bokeh, and night, which we'll get to in a moment. The one area where we saw a slight decrease in performance when compared with the LTE version was in the ultra-wide camera. In fact, the Mate 30 Pro 5G was one of the least wide ultra-wide cameras that we have tested. But more about that later. For exposure and contrast, the Mate 30 Pro 5G demonstrates good target exposure, even in low light, and has a wide dynamic range. The Mate 30 Pro 5G also does well in texture and noise. Scores for both categories are among the best we have seen, which is unusual because the two measurements are usually negatively correlated. In this example, you can see that fine details around the branches and leaves are very well preserved. Now let's take a more detailed look at the three areas where the Mate 30 Pro 5G surpassed the LTE model in zoom, bokeh, and night. Zoom is an area where our testers found big improvements in the 5G model versus the non-5G. There were better details in all conditions, and there were fewer focus instabilities. In this long-range zoom shot at about 5x, the differences in terms of detail between the 5G and non-5G were minimal. Both delivered excellent detail when compared with the Samson, where loss of detail was visible. However, the Samson dealt better with the backlit scene in terms of exposure, and delivered the most natural color rendering. Bokeh is another area where the Mate 30 Pro 5G has the edge over the Mate 30 Pro. This is mainly because of a visibly better dynamic range when shooting in bokeh mode. All of these images show good depth estimation, but the difference in dynamic range between the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G and the standard model is evident when looking at the sky in the background and the skin tones. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G offers a similarly wide dynamic range as the Mate 30 Pro 5G. The 5G's new multi-exposure mode for flash portraits has helped to improve the device's night shots across the board. While the flash does not trigger for landscape shots when in auto flash mode, image results still manage to achieve good white balance and exposure. Detail is well preserved too, and noise is hardly visible. When a face is detected in the scene, the flash usually triggers, with portrait shots achieving very well balanced exposure. Thanks to the multi-frame processing, exposure and detail are very good on the face while there's also a lot of detail in the background. You can see this in these pictures. The Mate 30 Pro 5G shows significantly more background detail than the other two devices. With the flash set to off, landscape images show good exposure and accurate white balance, although a greenish cast can sometimes be visible in very low light shots. In these examples, the Mate 30 Pro 5G also shows good details and low noise. Now, let's see where the 5G version falls behind the non-5G, the ultra-wide camera. The 5G's new processing algorithm reduces distortion, but it also narrows the field of view. Still, overall image quality remains good in terms of target exposure and color. Dynamic range also leaves some room for improvement in high-contrast scenes. In this example, the sky is rendered better by the Samson Note 10 Plus 5G, although the Mate 30 Pro 5G controls distortion better. When it comes to video, the Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G edged out its non-5G predecessor and is on par with the very best devices. The main differences to the standard model are seen in detail and noise, as well as improved tracking performance and low light for autofocus. The 5G version also reacts swiftly and accurately to changes in the scene and is stable when panning or walking. The 5G's pros include good details in most conditions, accurate target exposure, well-controlled noise, the 5G's cons include occasional slight color instabilities, some color shading in indoor conditions. 
The Huawei Mate 30 Pro 5G's camera earned an overall DxO Mark score of 123, with 134 in photo and 102 in video. Check out all our reviews on our website, dxomark.com, and click the subscribe button for more videos.